Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to count the number of unique items in a list. Now I'm going to show you how to do this if you're an Excel 365 user, and then I'll show you how to do exactly the same thing if you have a version of Excel prior to Excel 365. So your first function that you want to use in Excel 365 is the unique function. First argument and the only mandatory argument is array. And basically that's the list that you're counting in. Now, if your list happens to be in a row rather than a column, then you need to go into the first non-mandatory argument and specify false there. True is the default, and that's what we're gonna use. So what that does is spill the unique items found in that list. Then what we can do is use the count a function to count how many items are in that list. And it returns nine. Now, some of you may have spotted a potential problem with this method. If I just undo back to the last step, you can see this zero value here. Now that is being returned because I have blank cells within my list and it's actually been counted as a value, which it doesn't need to be. So what we need to do is just go one step further using the filter function. So I'll just show you how the filter function works. So the first argument is array. So that's the range of cells that we're gonna filter, comma. And then in the include argument, we need to specify the criteria for our filter. So our criteria would be that these values do not equal an empty text string. So then if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see it spills that same range of values, but without the empty cells. So then what I can do is extract the unique values from that array, just as I did before, but it returns one less value, ignoring the zero or the empty cells. And then I can use count A to return my count. Okay, so let's look at how we would do this in earlier versions of Excel. We would use the COUNTIF function. It has two arguments, range and criteria. Now range is the range of cells that we're counting in. And then criteria is the criteria we're applying to that range when we count. Now that's actually going to be the same range. Close the bracket and press enter. Now, because I'm in Excel 365, it spills the result into neighboring cells. In earlier versions of Excel, it won't do that, but you can see these numbers if you select your formula and then press F9 on your keyboard, you'll see exactly the same numbers. Now, if you're gonna do that, you must press escape rather than enter before you come out of the cell. Otherwise, it's gonna hard code those numbers into that cell. You want to keep the formula. So why are these numbers useful to us? Well, for example, invoice one appears four times and that four appears wherever invoice one appears in our original list. Invoice two appears three times. So if we then divide one by those results, you can see what it does here. Where something appeared four times, we get the result 0.25. Where something appears three times, we get the result 0.33 reoccurring. Now, if you add up those results for each of those invoice numbers, you're always gonna get one. So that means that we can add up all those ones and find out how many unique items there are in that list. Now, before we add up these numbers, we need to get rid of these errors. And these errors are caused by these blank cells. So if you do have blank cells in your range, to get rid of the error, just use the if error function to convert the errors to an empty text string. So your value is gonna be the formula that you've just written, comma, and then your value if error, what you want to return instead of the error. So that's two speech marks and empty text string. So if I press enter, you can see it gets rid of the divide by zero error. So then all I need to do is sum up 
those values. And to do that, you're going to use some product. Don't use some, otherwise you'll have to create a special type of array formula. Some product will avoid that. So all I've done is put a bracket in front of the formula and a bracket at the end. I press enter and I get my eight. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.